I'm Lieutenant Ballinger of the police department. That's Vicky's girl. You'll excuse her, she's upset. But you're not upset, is that it, Mrs. Pulaski? Is this how you did it? Did what? Made that mark on Vic's shoulder. Mark? I made no mark. Well, that mark's there to stay. He's finished. But I guess you figured all that out and weighed it ounce by ounce. Balance Vic's future against Joe's. The three-time loser who's gonna spend the rest of his natural life at Stateville. You're willing to sacrifice Vic's future so Joe can wander around a free citizen for a few more months, huh? Well, that's all it amounts to, you know that. Lieutenant, you got no right Mr. talking Polaski, to my mother. Answer me just one thing. How do you think the law ever got written? The one that states that a man is a habitual criminal after his fourth conviction for a felony, that he'll spend the rest of his natural life in prison. It was written because of a mountain of facts and figures that states that a four-time loser is a confirmed, incorrigible, habitual criminal. That the only safe place for him and society is prison. Because if you don't put him there, he'll go on to his fifth and sixth and seventh crime. And then one night, some innocent bystander might die because you didn't put him away. You know all that, huh? You know how a man is going to act. You can look inside of a man's head and tell, huh? I don't know what goes on inside of your head. But I've got your record right here. Do you want to hear it? Pretty simple. Stealing toys from five and tens at the age of seven. Bicycles at 12. Five auto grand theft in your teens. And then you went big time. You got yourself a gun. Gas stations, liquor stores. And now the worst of them all, narcotics. You know, whatever most of us have inside of us that, that hurts when we do something wrong, you don't have it. And you never will. You can't learn right from wrong. It's something you gotta feel. I'd just like to ask you one more thing, Mrs. Pulaski. You're willing to let Vic throw his life away? Why don't you go, Lieutenant? You have no business here. But I do have business here. My business is to arrest the guilty and protect the innocent. We don't know what you're talking about. I think you do, Mrs. Pulaski, but I can't prove it. Your husband died when Joe was 12. Vic was a little baby. So Joe went out into the street and earned a living for the family. And now Joe wants to be paid off in full. And you're willing to pay him. Or I should say that Vic is willing to pay him. Are you going to let him get away with it? Are you? You talk like a policeman, Lieutenant. How do you expect me to talk? I don't expect nothing. How can you know what goes on inside a mother's heart? I think I can, Mrs. Pulaski. But you're wrong. You're not going to help Vic, huh? I have nothing to tell you, Lieutenant. All right. At least from here on in, you know where he stands. As of this moment, no more poring over the books at night, no more A marks and B marks, no more career. It's all down the drain. He's washed up. 